is McDonald and I'm here to read another story for you today. Today I'm going to share this book. It's the Berenstain Bears Science Fair and it's actually a really long book so I'm dividing it up into three parts. You'll see why, okay? Um, but I'll just get started with it right away and then I have a few things to show you along the, along the way. The bears are going to have a science fair. Small bear and sister want to make something for the fair. This is a good time for Papa to give them some science lessons. To make a good project for the Bear Science Fair, you must learn about science. Follow me. Sister, come along, small bear. So here they're getting ready to learn about some science with their papa bear before they choose what they're going to do. As an old science student, I know just where to start. It's lucky for us, Dad, that you are so smart. Here they are, going with their dad, who's so smart. To teach science well, to make science fun, I start with machines. Put on a safety hat, son. Danger, machines at work. And here's your first lesson. Be very careful near a machine. Right, Papa Bear, we see what you mean. He's already in trouble. Actual facts about machines. What is a machine? A machine is a thing we use to help us do work. There are machines that help us do rough, tough jobs, like my big digger digs big ditches. There are machines that help us do fine, exact work. My sewing machine makes perfect stitches. There are almost as many kinds of machines as there are kinds of works. But big or small or in between, if it helps you do work, then it's a machine. And I'd like to introduce you to my favorite machine, the popcorn popper. I love this machine because I love popcorn. And I use this one almost every day. I'd say at least five days a week I use this because I love popcorn. So there's my favorite machine. And it's made up of a lot of different little machines and that's what we're gonna talk about next. So, three simple machines. Now, the three most important machines I feel are the simple lever, the wedge, and the wheel. The lever, press down here to lift up here. When a pole or bar is used to lift or pry, it becomes a lever. Observe the lever, no trouble, no fuss. I place it so, I press down thus. That lever sure worked, it was great, Papa Bear, but that was his step. The rock is still there. Uh-oh, Papa Bear removed the wrong thing. Would a poster about levers be good for the fair? It would make a very good project, Sister Bear. I like to make posters. Here how I do it, here's how I do it. See this big piece of cardboard with pictures stuck to it? So here she made her poster, Levers, a science fair poster by Sister Bear. We use levers in many ways, to open cans, jars, and bottles, to lift cars, to stop cars, and to pump water. You push down here, the lever lifts up here, and water comes out. Sometimes we use two levers together, to crack nuts, to clip toenails, to squeeze oranges. Many tools are levers, pliers, wrench, hammer, and the hammer used in another way. We use levers every day to make hard jobs easier and they let us do things we're not strong enough to do ourselves. And here are a few examples which they already talked about. Here is a wedge. This is used to scrape things up. But see how it's angled here? You can wedge that in. You'll hear more about that. And then here's one. Whoopsie! Here's a nail and I'm gonna pound it in. Whack, whack, whack. Now, of course, this isn't very hard for me to put it in, but I just wanted to show you. And then here's the other way you can use it. Whoop! To pull the nail out. And then the greatest simple machine, a wheel. It gets you to school, it gets you around town, and it helps you get work done. Okay, so let me finish this up. The wedge. The wedge is used to split things or spread things apart. The wedge has many uses. Splitting logs is one. Our friendly neighbor, Farmer Ben, will show us how it's done. Thwack, walk, there he goes. He's using a wedge to split that log. Thank you, Ben, as I said before, that's one of its uses. It has many more. Other ways we use the wedge. For cutting, an ax blade is a sharp wedge, so is a knife blade. And here's a chisel, which I just showed you. And for holding things, like a doorstop, and a peg, and for strength, like the keystone here that's holding that bridge together. Now, here's a tool that's both a lever and wedge. It's a scythe. 
The handle's a lever, the blade is a wedge. It cuts weeds fast with a stroke that is neat. Now that certainly was both fast and neat, but did you, you didn't cut weeds, you cut Farmer Ben's wheat. Uh-oh, there he's in trouble again. A simple machine we use a good deal is our greatest invention. It's called the wheel. So here's the wheel. I already showed you. It turns this way to go that way, and here's an axle holding it. A wheel is round. It turns around a rod called an axle that runs through the center. Here we have wheels of every kind. Let's see how many we can find. A wagon wheel, an auto wheel, a truck wheel, a train wheel, a water wheel, a paddle wheel, a ship's wheel, a plane wheel, pinwheel, potter's wheel, spinning wheel, learning wheel, ferris wheel, pulley wheel, cog wheel, turning wheel. Sixteen kinds, that's pretty good. How many are there in your neighborhood? Have you thought of a science fair project, son? I think that I have an idea for one. So here they are. He has an idea. Let's see what he does. I like his idea. Do you like to get up when the early birds t do? Then my science fair project will be helpful to you. Here it is at the top, the not so simple early bird machine. What you will need, an early bird, bird seed, a lever, a bell, a wheel, a string, scissors, a hammer, toothpaste, and a toothbrush. So here he made that so that this is how it works. The early bird jumps on the bird seed, the lever lifts, the bell rings, you wake up, then here this goes, and the scissors cut, and that drops the hammer onto the toothpaste, which fills up the toothpaste um, onto the toothbrush, and then this project shows how much you can do with the simple machines and a few other things, too. That's kind of fancy schmancy that he made up. Thanks for the lessons, Papa Bear. Now we're all set for the science fair. Here's the science fair getting ready. They're anxious to go. Not so fast. You're not ready yet. There are more science lessons you have to get. I don't know that they want more science lessons. They're kind of excited to get to the fair, but I think they're going to learn some. But Papa, look over there. They're getting ready for the science fair. We have lots of time. Just stop the chatter. I still have to teach you some facts about matter. And that's what I'll talk about in the next part. We'll go over matter. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that about machines. And remember, a machine is something that helps you do work. Bye.